what's up guys welcome to my channel the topic of the today's video is if you use adobe premiere pro for your video editing with your video projects then do this steps i have two steps for you so doing those two steps you can increase the size of your hard disk there are some hidden temp cache files in your hard disk that adobe premiere pro saves uh, without you knowing and those are required by the project that you can free uh, that you can delete easily so that you can gain uh, lots of space gain the, like gbs of space so let's get started all right so i'm on my computer right now and you can see um i already have my premiere pro running the version i'm using here is adobe premiere pro version 14 you can see that on the on the title bar this tutorial is not restricted to only this version it will work for all the versions so what we are going to uh, do today is actually we are going to free up memory space computer disk space from your pc because let me show you what what to ha what i have currently if you see uh, uh the the space on my c drive is 368 gb and on my d drive is 95.6 gb free the first what we are going to do today is uh, open up edit and then go to preferences and then hit media cache so once you do that it will open a dialog box and you can see uh, the location where your media cache files are actually saved so this is inside your primary drive which you see in my case then users then your your username then app data roaming adobe common so you can either click browse or you can open that manually i i have already opened that so uh, let me go back you see the that's the location i have and with the touch of one button you can actually delete all the cache files in there so let me show you how much data i have currently on there so if i have around the media cache files you will see it says 3.65 gb so uh, and by the way this, the laptop i'm using is only seven months old so let me open that and uh, i've already sorted the files by in in ascending order you can see the oldest file i have is july 2020 and today is 31st january 2021 so this is like only six months old laptop and still i have uh, like three and a half gb of data in there so these are all the temporary files which my laptop don't need anymore so what we're gonna do we're gonna click on the delete button and uh, i actually want to delete all the media cache files from the system but this is this option is actually uh, disabled to use this option restart premium pro and select this prior to opening any project uh, got it so what we're gonna do we're gonna cancel i'm gonna exit out of the project so close project and before opening any project now i'm, I'm actually going to go to edit preferences and then going to go to media cache now you will see uh, now uh, I'll click the delete button again, and now uh, now I'll do the delete all media cache from uh, delete all media cache files from the system. Hit OK, let it do its job, and we'll go back and hit the refresh button. And you will see the uh, the folder is now empty. So that three and a half, uh, the 3.65 GB of cache files has been deleted and i would have gained like a lot of space in my system let's see so earlier i think it was 358 gb something like that 368 gb i think now it's 372 makes sense i added 4 gb of data and uh, keep in mind my laptop is only seven months old six months old actually so if you have been using your computer your laptop for a like long time or if you have been producing lots and lots of uh, projects uh, your, your video files using from premiere pro then you would have like more than 4 gb data i only had 4 gb because i was using uh, you know only for like six months the second thing we're gonna do in this video is actually delete some files that was uh, that have been saved uh, like uh, automatically so we will go to documents because you know those files are actually saved in documents and uh, hit adobe go to at premiere pro version 14 and you will see all these files you know i've been i've actually i've actually created all these projects you know in the last six months uh which is quite a lot actually looking at my rate uh being a youtuber I, i'm actually producing uh, video files every day right so we're gonna uh, select all and you can actually uh, freely delete these files these are not required anymore uh, like that and also go to auto save 
delete all these files because you know these files have been saved automatically by your Premiere Pro you can see these are 114 MB in, in size so you know everything counts I'm gonna delete those again go to video previews 36, G, uh, 36 MB I'm gonna delete these two again everything counts uh, now go to auto preview audio previews select all delete everything auto save you have already deleted that captured audio delete these also captured video delete these also and there you go you have actually deleted everything under these folders these are like auto save folders and also you have deleted the projects you have deleted the cache files three and a half GB in my case must be more in your case and also I want to discuss like you know what you can do going forward in future so what you can do you can either select uh, this option so we have two options here one is called automatically delete cache files older than 90 days you can customize it you can do 10 days 20 days 30 days 60 days whatever whatever you feel like and uh, what it will do it will actually delete all the cache files um, every 90 days in my case whenever and also once per week uh, when I launch the applications and the next option is automatically delete oldest cache files when the cache exceeds 47 GB so that means whenever the cache uh, folder reaches 47 GB of uh, memory size uh, the oldest cache will be deleted you know uh, you can click that also but uh, I'm actually uh, okay with it doing it manually for now so this is how you gain uh, memory space in your computer if you use Premiere Pro do this now if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.